A new study has found that T-Rex dinosaurs had brains with as many neurons as baboons. This indicates that they were able to solve problems, use tools, and even create a culture. With monkey-like brains, other dinosaurs like Allosaurus followed not too far behind. The study, which was recently published in the Journal of Comparative Neurology, challenges us to shift our perception of dinosaurs from being monstrous predators that ripped apart their prey and left crashing destruction in their wake to clever tool-wielding creatures that were able to interact with others. Is it conceivable? Based on their fossilized remains, dinosaurs are known to have existed on Earth millions of years ago. However, unlike brains, soft tissues are not preserved by fossils. According to IFL Science, Dr. Susanna Herculano Housel, a neuroscientist from Vanderbilt University in the United States and the study's author, therefore turned to their modern descendants, birds, for her research. Birds aren't as stupid as people thought they were. According to the Daily Mail, recent studies have revealed that, despite their small brains, they have more neurons per ounce of the brain than mammals and primates, giving them the ability to solve problems. Herculano Hausel looked for characteristics that extinct dinosaurs might have shared with their modern evolutionary descendants by employing phylogenetic bracketing, a method of inference based on an organism's position in an evolutionary tree. However, as she stated in a video that she posted on Twitter, first, you have to have good reason to believe that the same proportionality that applies to birds already applied to dinosaurs like T-Rex, which is what I just did. On her website, she went on to say that the issue was deciding whether the scaling rules for reptiles and endothermic sorpsids, birds, applied to dinosaurs. Or, as a 2014 study had suggested, they might be mesotherms or in-betweens. She quickly concluded, however, that referring to them as mesotherms was a mistake because it meant disregarding their diversity and instead grouping them as a whole. After that was settled, Dr. Herculano Housel used CT scans to study the fossilized skulls of existing sorpsids and theropods, a group of bipedal dinosaurs that includes T-Rex. She discovered that theropod dinosaurs scaled similarly to modern ostriches, emus, and chickens when examining the relationship between estimated brain size and body size. Using the numbers and brain mass of existing sauropsids, she could then calculate the number of neurons that theropods would have had. She calculated a brain mass of 343 grams and 3,289,000,000 telencephalic neurons which are comparable to the 2,875,000,000 found in baboons. These numbers are comparable to those found in primates. Her findings indicate that dinosaurs were not the mindless monsters that are commonly imagined. She suggests that T-Rex could have lived between 42 and 49 years which is consistent with a previous study she conducted that found a correlation between the number of neurons and life expectancy in warm-blooded animals. The implications are quite extraordinary, even though this is in contrast to the fact that the oldest specimen that is known to have existed for only 28 years. It's possible that these creatures were able to solve problems, create and use tools, and even establish a culture thanks to their ability to think for such a long time and with such a large number of neurons. Her findings aren't entirely unquestioned by the scientific community because they are based on estimates rather than actual brain analysis and behavioral observation of theropods. Well, that's it for today. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comment section. And if you enjoy our content, and never want to miss a video, hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching.